Hi guys, it's Heather with another installment of R Rating Reviews. I'm going to do the restaurants. And I think I'll bang them out all in one shot because I was only at a few of them. We were only there for a few days. And they definitely are worthy of some notations. Some good, some not so good. So, man, I look a little overdone today. I gotta go to lunch. And, ugh. Anyway, so the first place we went, I already told you we didn't actually go. It was white limousine, forget it. Um, Velvet Taco? I mean, the tacos are pretty unique. They had their taco of the week, which was called WTF. And that was like a shrimp and scallops or a steak or something. They had like a whole bunch of different types of tacos. I didn't think it was pricey until after I got the bill. I mean, we got like six or seven tacos and they're like this big and soft flour tortilla shells. It was like 65 bucks and we probably got six or seven tacos. Some of them were really good and some of them we never wound up eating. So, Velvet Taco was good. I will say they were there for us when every other place was closed and we couldn't get food. So, they definitely have better hours. And I ordered through some um, food app. It was $15 just for the um, the delivery. So, 50 bucks for the tacos, 15 for the delivery. I think actually that was after I put like five bucks on for a tip. Um, we went to the Aquarium restaurant and that is near the Grand Ole Opry. So it's a restaurant that's featured like inside of a big walkthrough aquarium. There's a huge fish tank aquarium in the middle of the restaurant. You can walk all around it and see some really nice fish. I took beautiful pictures. Um, it came highly rated and a few different people recommended it to me. And one person who recommended it was a friend of mine that lives in Georgia. And when I mentioned I was in Nashville, he's like, oh, you gotta go to the aquarium restaurant. I'm like, oh, I did that last night. I thought it sucked. Like, it was nice. I loved our server. I had so much fun with him. I really did. Um, very expensive. It is more like, I don't think it's, it's obviously not a franchise chain restaurant, but it reminded me of like Red Lobster and Olive Garden's Love Child. They, they tout themselves, it's aquarium, so they serve seafood. And I said to my daughter when we got there, all we wanted was seafood. But I read about Nashville. They're like four hours from a beach. Like they're landlocked, they don't they don't have sea uh, seashores. And so I was like, where the fuck are they getting seafood from? Ah, same place Red Lobster's is probably getting their seafood from. Like, uh, very expensive for mediocre food. We got the shrimp, shrimp and scallops, cra uh, shrimp and crab dip for an, an appetizer. I and mean, you have a choice, either garlic toast, which I don't, I don't do garlic, it'll come out of my body for like days. So we did the nachos. So nachos and shrimp and crab dip, $18. I'm like, that's an appetizer. Like that should have been the meal, the price. I ordered one drink, um, so my daughter can take a sip. $13 and it, it, I, don't, I don't know what we drank it was, it was tasty I, don't, I didn't finish it but I got a Diet Coke she got an unsweet diced tape almost $4 each so that, that's where these businesses are making their money the markup is in the beverages so $30 for my daughter's salmon dinner that she barely ate and she loves salmon loves it she felt so bad I said don't worry wrap it up take it back you need to eat it in the hotel it's not like you didn't just turn around and waste it. So wrap it up, no big deal. I got shrimp and bread. I mean, shrimp and grits, it's like a southern staple. The grits were like mush soup with cheese on them. I, I didn't eat any, I think I took a bite. I wrapped it, took it back to the hotel. I wound up just picking the shrimp out, washing the crap off under the bath of the sink and ate the shrimp. I tried, the grits were like soup. I, I tossed that shit. It was greasy. It was so greasy. And we didn't do dessert. We normally do. There was nothing appealing. I did, however, absolutely love the salt and pepper shakers. One of my closest, nearest, and dearest friends on Long Island happens to have a love of seahorses. And I love turquoise. Anything peacock. They had like turquoise colored ceramic seahorse salt and pepper shakers. So I just flat out asked the waiter, I'm like, listen, can I buy these? Because if I can't buy them, I'm gonna steal them. So you tell me, I can either buy them or they're gonna walk. And he laughs hilariously. He's like, just put a little, put a little something extra in, extra 
extra and I'll just get the other way. I'm like, oh. Meanwhile, I have like this much salt in the bottom of my pocket when we have to that. And he's like, I'm like, go, is someone gonna notice these are gone? Like, the people are walking around, like, they're gone. He's like, no, I'm gonna go get a new pack from the back. I go, can you go get a new pack? Give me the fucking new one. Whatever. They have taxes in Nashville. Sales tax is insane. If you're downtown, there's an extra half a percent sales tax. They have a four and a half percent, I don't know if it's an add-on sales tax for alcoholic beverages, and their regular sales tax is nine and a quarter percent. Now, I come from Oneida County, which I have heard was like, I thought it was the second highest sales tax in the nation, but I don't think it would be if this is nine and a quarter. But he explained, I did the math. So the bill for one app, two entrees, two non-alcoholic beverages, and one alcoholic beverage was $105, and then um, $11.60 100 bucks for the bill and 11 and change for tax. I'm like, it was like 11.6% tax that it worked out to. And I said, what's with this sales tax? Like, I thought, but is this gratuity? He's like, no, because they don't have income tax. They don't have state income tax. They, they have a higher sales tax. I'm like, well, I'm fucking from New York and I do have state income tax. So can I just pay the rate? He laughed. Anyway, no, he wants it with a $25 tip because I, I got the salt and pepper shakers. I would not recommend, I wouldn't go back. It was nice to see. We took beautiful pictures in front of the aquarium. The food was, be, I don't know if I would say mediocre. It was, I mean, Olive Garden can be pretty tasty once in a while, but it was expensive and not worth it. Um, because of the situation with white limousine, one of our Uber drivers told us that we had to go to Layer Cake. And Layer Cake is like all the places, almost all the places in Nashville, at least downtown, they're all like three, four, five stories. They all have rooftop bars. I wanted to go, we didn't wind up getting on a rooftop, which is really sad, we're gonna go back. But they all have three and four stories. We went to Kid Rocks. Shit, I would go to Kid Rocks in a heartbeat. I love me some Kid Rock. None of the places charge cover charges because it's Music City. All of these bands, they just wanna play music and if they, they'll do it for free because they want to be discovered. So these places don't charge covers. I think that's phenomenal. Um, we listened to some really good music at Kid Rocks. I got a burger and fries. I don't order burgers and fries when I'm out because it's very challenging to get it cooked the way I want it cooked. I want it medium rare on the rarer side. Like, I don't want a hockey puck. I want it bloody. And I got the most delicious burger at Kid Rocks. I don't eat french fries because they're rarely ever worth it. These are the, I can, I can, I can say that I think that these were, if they weren't the best french fries I have ever eaten, they had to have at least been top three. And when I say that, I don't remember what the first two french fries would be. But I do remember I've had some good fries once or twice elsewhere. Kid Rock, and my daughter got a, a, a delicious salad. I, I forget what kind, it was like some kind of, with meat, chicken or something on it, or salmon, probably salmon. She got a really good salad. He's got like four floors, three or four floors, and you can see down to the first floor, you can see the band from every angle. My understanding is one of our tour bus drivers said that Kid Rock is known to show up in Nashville probably like once a month. Um, on average, he will show up at his, at his honky tonk, and when he does, he gets up and he performs. He's, they said he's known to do like two, three, four songs. But his signature move, the end of his whatever performance he does, he will move in the crowd. I would have paid extra to see that. I'm sorry I did not get to see Kid Rock. But he had really good food and he had a decent band playing. So, And they just go around with a tip bucket after they're done performing and they just explain that's the way they get paid because there's no cover charge. So. Kid Rocks, I definitely recommend. He's one of the reasons, his place is one of the reasons I want to go back. I did not get, get to go to Old Red, which is Blake Shelton's place, and they drove, it was two doors down from Miranda Lambert. Um, and the old Acme feed store that used to be, had a rotating rooster outside. Um, I wanted to go there. It's now a restaurant that Alan Jackson owns. I did not get to do that. But we did go to Layer Cake, according to our Uber driver's recommendations. There's uh, the first floor, they have a basement lounge, which is only open on certain days. And 
Then the first floor is the Wonder Room. It's all pink, chandeliers, very pretty, floofy, floofy. But it turns out only the first third of the restaurant is pink. After you get inside, it's navy blue, which is fine. Second floor, which is technically the third floor, is their fancy dining room. She said it's a high-end, upscale dining room, but that we could get the menu from that floor in the Wonder Room, because we wanted to sit in the pink room being that we brought all these pink clothes for the pink hotel and white limousine, which is all pink, and um, we were going for Valentine's dinner, which they kept, they did try to shove this stupid couple's dinner on us for $110 or $120 a couple. It's my daughter. She's 18. She's not my couple, and we don't drink champagne. So don't jam this, this dinner down my throat. I'll wind up spending more money not doing the dinner. Um, and then they have a rooftop, and I'm very sorry we did not get up to the rooftop, but dinner was a little odd. The guy, you have to use your QR reader to get the menu, which I can't stand. Classless. Give me a fucking menu. Um, and then the people next to us had a menu. It must have been about eight seconds later, he came over and said that you're ready to order. I'm like, no, I didn't even download your app yet. So, and then he came back about a minute and a half later and said, oh, you ready? I said, you come over here one more fucking time. Anyway, no. And then we, then he takes his time and disappears. And I'm waiting for the bill. We got to get to the Grand Ole Opry afterwards. Man, fucking tastic. Um, so we didn't have time to go to the rooftop. Pink Layers food. They had the best gorgonzola fries. Holy shit! Their waffle fries with gorgonzola on them, and they were done really well. It wasn't just like a chunk of gorgonzola thrown on top. It was those fries were delicious. And their pork, their pulled pork sliders, also very good. Um, everything else sucked. Their desserts, they don't even have like a layer cake. They have like one kind of cake. It's white. I didn't get dessert. Um, they do make a really good lemon drop because I didn't order a lemon drop. I know I say I don't drink. I really don't drink. I drink like once a month. And she's like half a beer. But with my daughter, I, like we had fun. I had like one drink, half a drink each day. The lemon drop at layer cake is absolutely out of this world. They make a very good lemon drop. Um, we didn't eat anywhere else. It was Velvet Cake, I mean, excuse me, Velvet Taco, Layer Cake, Kid Rocks. Um, there was a place we went to shop for vintage clothes, and that girl said, if you come back, talk to me, because you went to all the wrong places. So when I say the food in Nashville was awful, and that it was partly my fault, and possibly partly, um, like, culture, the Southern cooking is very different than what I'm accustomed to, so there are certain things I'll eat. But I think we just went to the wrong restaurant. We were recommended to go to the wrong places. And I was told, go to a local place and go to see a local. And the locals will tell you where to eat. And I was also told that if you go to local places that are like off the strip and off the beaten path, all the tax that they charge you is included in the price you see on the menu. So that it's not like, you know, when it's $14 for a drink, that's what you pay, including the tax. Where when you go to a restaurant, it's fourteen dollars plus that damn eleven and a half percent that they're tacking on to everything. So I definitely will go back and I will go to different places, but I would not recommend any of the places that we eat except Kid Rock. Kid Rock's place was fucking fantastic. So I love me some Kid Rock. Um, questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I'm gonna finish some of the other reviews as soon as I have a minute, and I will. If you want to hit like or subscribe, I love that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Have a great day.